Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. My name is Professor Adam and I want to show you something exceptionally special today. Um, rather than playing Minecraft, we're going to go into this little website here called code.org. And down here is uh, something called Minecraft Hour of Code. So it says here, use block. This is brand new, by the way. This is brand new. It just it, all you need is a web browser go into this you can even use it on your tablet as well uh, use blocks to code to take Steve or Alex on an adventure through this Minecraft world ages 6 plus whatever uh, modern browsers smartphones and tablets uh, let's go and there's a little bit of code down there so it's like forward slash code dot com forward slash MC for Minecraft so let's have a look at this I want to show you this so basically if you've uh, if you ever use scratch or you've used other kind of programs like that kind of the beginning basics of coding uh, we can go into this website here let's try it now and all the all the website links will be in the description below I don't I don't need to watch a video I didn't know who should I who should I start who should I start let's start uh, I'll start with Alex, uh, Steve, Steve, <laughs> uh, add a second, okay, so we're, so it's like a puzzle, okay, so you, what you've got to do is you've got to go through this and it's going to give you some challenges, um, and while we uh, complete the challenges, we'll learn how to code at the same time, it's going to be amazing. So, um, first of all, we're going to do add a second move forward command, re okay, I press okay, alright, so I've done, have I done one already? I think I, I have had a little experiment with this already. So let's try this. So let's, um, oh, right, here we go. So basically there's Steve over here and we can see we've got a little window that we can make that window small. Well, not that small, um, a little bit bigger. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And again, remember, this is all working inside of our web browser, um, all stylized uh, in, in the style of Minecraft and supported by Mojang as well. Uh, so it says here, oh, he's looking at us as well. And there's a little sheepy. So what have I got to do? I've got to I've got to get Steve to move towards the sheep. So uh, when run, so over here it's a little bit like um, Scratch. If everybody's used Scratch before, you can kind of drag these things and snap them to each other. So I want him to move forward, move forward, and then he's at the sheep. Right? Okay. That seems fair enough. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to press Run. Big. Yeah, yeah. I've done it, and I, I do a little jumpy animation. You can hear uh, a little tinkle as well. Uh, and it says puzzle one complete congratulations uh, you just wrote two lines of code what <laughs> show the code so it says move move forward open parentheses close parentheses and then a little semicolon as well this is code syntax and you know you'll understand a little bit more about that later on I'm not going to kind of really go into explaining it I think the main thing in in this is basically having fun and trying to uh, trying to complete some of the challenges um, okay, so puzzle two. I'm going to do five puzzles and then I'll uh, I'll stop this. So we're just going to go do five puzzles, see how it goes. I'm going to, going to let you have a little go. You try this thing out. Let me know in the in the comments below how you get on and whether you enjoyed it or not. So puzzle two of fourteen. Wood is a very important resource. Well, we know that many things are made from it. Walk to a tree and use the destroy block command to chop it down. Okay walk to a tree so one two and then okay so we've got to go move forward one move forward two and then destroy block okay so we're facing that way as well so we'll just press run boom 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 and I got it hey so as you can see over here congratulations you just wrote three lines of code all time total five lines of code okay okay continue so Let's knock that off. So you can see it's just like you when run, okay. So when I press run over here, move forward, move forward, and then destroy block. It's it's as simple as that. Is it as simple as that? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um how do I get to the next one? Do I press that? There we go. Puzzle three of fourteen. Sheep shearing time. Use the shear command to gather wool from both sheep. From both sheep. Got it? Okay. Right, so I've got to move forward, shear that one, and then I've got to turn and then move forward one and then shear another one. Oh, I've got all my stuff there. Okay, so 
So now we're re we know we've got the basics. We understand what we're doing. Now we've got it a little bit, a little bit more advanced. But it's about sequential thinking. Okay, thinking in. What, no, we're doing one thing, then another thing. Another. Seem may seem obvious, but you'll be surprised how how sometimes funny you can get uh, all the mistakes. So when run move forward, yeah, one, and then two, and then I need to shear, and then I need to turn right, turn right, okay, and then move forward. And then shear. Okay, do you think that's right? Well, let's find out. One, two, shear the <laughs> sheep. Move forward one. Shear. I'm too good at this. I am too good at this. This is easy. Easy peasy. There we go. Steve running around. Puzzle three complete. Congratulations. You wrote just, uh, you just wrote six lines of code. All time total, 11 lines of code. So let's show the code. So again, you can kind of see there, It's it, this is it kind of written in longhand, but obviously, we're, we're kind of just clipping these little bits together, but that these little clips are, are kind of like this, okay? So this kind of code relates to um, how, how code is long handwritten. But anyway, anyway, continue. Let us go on. Uh, puzzle 4 of 14. We need to build a house before what? Before the sun goes down. Houses require a lot of wood. Cut down all threes. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. So we could do this in lots of different ways. All right, here we go. So it says here, move forward, move forward, move forward. One, two, three, yeah. Destroy block, turn left, move forward. All right. One, two, three. I need to move forward another three. One. So there's a bit of code that's actually already written for us. Okay, let's just, let's just slow down a little bit. So move forward. One, two, three. Destroy the, that tree, yeah. And then move one two, three again, yep, and then destroy another tree, and then move left, turn left again, so turn left, and then one, two, three, okay, move forward, one, two, three, and then destroy the, the last tree, I think that's right, I think that's right, one, two, three, boop, 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 block of wood, one, two, three, yep, block of wood, for me, one, two, the animation is so cute. This is amazing. Can I make it any bigger? I can. Yay! Well done, Steve. Well done, Steve. Do, 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 do. Show me the code. It's simple. You can kind of see how it all works now. And next one. Oh, we've got another. We've got repeat loops. Uh, well, you know, uh, you're watching a video of me. You know, you can, if you play this, you can watch other little videos and it's going to start tell you how to do it as well. Every house starts with a wall. Build the first part of your house by putting the place and move forward commands inside the repeat loop. Woo! Repeat loops. <laughs> okay, so when run, repeat four times. Do. Okay. Oh, I've forgotten already what I'm saying. So there's a little build a house down here. There's a little Lydia video down there. Every house starts with by, by putting down move forward commands inside the place and move forward. Oh, right. Okay. So we've got to go basically, we've got to pl place birch planks. Wow. What else can we do? Let's, let's place oak planks. Yeah. And move forward. And then we don't have to repeat. You know, we were kind of doing that kind of move forward. And we were cl clicking them all together, kind of putting them, you know, move forward, move forward, move forward. Now what we can do is we could just put one of those things in and just ask it to repeat it four times or something like that. So I think that's going to do it. So I'm going to press run here. One, two, three, four. Amazing. Okay. So there we have it. We, we've started. Thank you very much. Let's show the code. I want to see what the code looks like this. This looks really interesting. It looks kind of a little bit. So four open parentheses, var count equals naught. All right, so this this is basically uh, saying uh, for, for a variable, which is the word count, equals zero, okay? Uh, and then it says count is less than four, uh, count plus plus. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure what any of this means. If you know what some of this means is, again, to tell me about it in the in the description in the comments below just talk a little bit about what all this means there's a place block open parentheses and then planks oak and then uh, clothe parentheses and that's in a that's also in little, little kind of um uh, uh kind of uh hyph like hyphenated marks i can't remember what they're called actually um speech marks isn't it and then look at all this kind of other stuff as well and then move forward so it says less than four 
and there's a plus plus. So I wonder what that plus plus means as well. So if you know uh, what any of this means, do let us know in the comments below. That'd be really cool. Did you like this puzzle? I'm going to heart that puzzle because I really liked it. And then I'm going to finish. I'm going to let you come. I'm not going to do all the kind of puzzles for you. You have to come in and have a go at kind of this stuff too. You don't have to, like me, you don't have to understand all what the code is doing. Okay, this is just for kind of curiosity and to kind of give you a kind of a clue about what the code can look like. Okay, but you don't really have to understand it if you don't want to. If you want to kind of find out a little bit more about it, then this is your chance. Okay, so it's giving you the options. Okay, and then there's no pressure whatsoever. <laughs> um, I'm saying that because, you know, my goodness, I don't quite know what any of this stuff means. So I'm going to close that. It's going to open up uh, another one, I think. Oh, I like number five. And we'll see what happens next. Let's build a house. All right, so there's there's different selections. So easy, medium, or hard. So there's a whole variety of things like this. It looks dead, dead exciting. So do have a go. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Um, and I'll be back with more 101 ideas for Minecraft learners very shortly. Until then, bye.